I woke up today to the announcement that Mario Kart Tour is getting no new content past October 4th, past the Halloween Tour. Um, which, wait, yeah, yeah, okay. The Battle Tour is the last one, and the Halloween Tour is just what comes next. Um, and that'll be, like, the first returning tour in this new way they do things. So, basically, I mean, his message explains it all, but they're going to be ending this game's support of new content, which surprisingly includes drivers, carts, and gliders alongside courses. Of course, like, last week, I did a... A video talking about, I mean, not in a new tour, but more importantly, talking about the future of this game because, yeah, it was looking like things would end around the end of September, and I was right. And I at least thought there'd still be like characters and stuff, but no, just full stop to uh, the content, which it has surprised me, even though I had predicted this, it has surprised me. Um, it, I, yeah, it, it seems like we're, we're obviously ending the boost course pass this year and ending tour. I'd imagine they're moving to a new Mario Kart game. Not for this console, not for the Switch, but for whatever the next one is. Whenever that comes out, I don't know. I don't know when, but yeah, I, I, I assume that might be why. I, I don't know. Um. Because they could have kept milking this game. But, it, but there's plenty there to the game. It's not like Mario Kart is going to die now. Because there's so many tracks. And the tours just repeating. There's, there's a bunch of tours. I couldn't tell you how many there are. There is enough, to say the least, to this game. Um, although... <laughs> I think about it. It's... It's weird, um, because, I mean, there's, there's a lot of stuff that comes from that this game. Battle mode is dreadful. They had, like, there's, like, three, four battle tracks, and it's just not fun. It, it's just not fun. And the game will be better off without the mode, because it takes up track slots, and no one wants that. Although, only for the recent tours, so if we're repeating tours, you're not going to see many battle tracks, so I guess that's why... They're not concerned about adding to it. Unless the battle tour has a lot. But is the battle tour a returning one? It says following it. Um, so I guess it's a start of a tour. Yes, the anniversary tour. That seems like the last one. Um, right. I was going to say, because the battle tour rings a bell's name. And I, in that case, I assume the repeating order is random. We're not starting from the very beginning again. It's just... Random in terms of the order. Um, okay, so I think that's cool. Um, but yeah, wow, this is <laughs> this is sad. Um, the, the game doesn't even need more content. It's just crazy to see that it's, it's over. Um, this is a game that I don't think for most of its life I've given a fair chance. You know, I, I probably tried it once. And then just didn't get into it. <laughs> but the booster course pass put new eyes on it. I don't like around the wave too high, but I properly got into the game and since then I've been on and off about it. You know. I haven't played a crazy amount of it, but I've played more of this than most mobile games. Um And yeah, it, it is fun for what it is and the content very stacked. Um so yeah, I, I it, it it is sad to see it end, but I and I guess there was there was still stuff they could do, like Honey Queen's not in the game, just off the top of my head. There's not like Paratrooper variant of Cooper, which is strange. That of course battle mode is just a mess. I, I there's stuff that could be done to improve the game, but I nothing else is really essential to be added. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's about it. Um, 
it, it, this is a game that is very important to Mario Kart, and like it or not, this it, it, this game makes a deluxe what it is. The boost scores pass. That would not have a word not for for all. And people have bashed on the DLC for you know reusing tour assets and whatnot, but I, I I think it's so unfair because without tour we would not get that DLC. We would not get forty eight tracks. You know, ninety six tracks overall in one game. That is only going to happen once in a lifetime. I do not think we're going to get those circumstances again because think about how the Bruce's first game would be. Firstly, you acquired. A base game of DLC on a console that didn't sell, so they just put, ported it over to Switch, and then you and then that port happened to do so well, and then you also simultaneously happened to have a, a mobile game with a bunch of stuff to reuse. Like so many pieces came together for that DLC to add to have like an insane amount of content for a Mario game night, for a Mario Kart game night. Don't think we'll be top. Not in the next game, at least. I I, I can't see it happening. In which I, I I see it having forty eight at base and having like however many more tracks for the LC. I don't think they'll touch ninety six, but I assume the base track section is gonna have to be bigger. Um, for the next game, of course, ninety six base track section is just un- unrealistic. Um, so yeah, I, I I really do appreciate this game. With the eight looks DLC in mind, it and I, I I have been playing Tor itself, but I'm not too crazy about it. Um, but yeah, it is a fun time. It, it is. I this this mobile game has done a lot of good for the franchise overall. Even if you don't give a fuck about the the, the mobile game itself. So yeah, I, I I think we should appreciate this game. Uh, I think we should. Give it its flowers, um, because yeah, it it has done a lot for the franchise over the past few years. So yeah, thank you, Mary Kart Tour, uh, and thank you for watching this video. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.